The Story Blanket by Farida Wolf, Harriet May Savitz, and illustrated by Elena Odriozola. Deep in the snow-covered mountains was the tiny village where Baba Zara lived. The children loved to settle down on Baba Zara's big old story blanket to listen to her stories. One day, Baba Zara noticed there was a hole in Nikolai's shoe. When the children left, she decided to knit Nikolai some nice warm socks. But so much snow had fallen that winter that no one could get through to the village to deliver wool. How could she knit socks without wool? Every question has an answer, she said. I just have to think about it. She poured herself a glass of sweet tea to help her think. Before she had taken three sips, Baba and Zara knew what to do. I will unravel a little of the story blanket and use the wool for Nikolai's socks, she said. Late at night, when everyone was asleep, Baba Zara trekked through the snow and left the socks on Nikolai's doorstep. Soon after, the postman found a scarf wrapped around his mailbox or his mailbag when he left to start his morning rounds. Do you know who made it? He asked everyone he met, but no one did. The schoolmaster was surprised to find a pair of warm mittens on the woodpile when he brought in wood for the school stove. Mrs. Ivanov flapped the ravens away from her wash with the new knitted apron she discovered beside her water pump. Before long, the grocer was wearing a new shawl instead of the moth-eaten one she used to have. The children had to sit closer and closer together on the blanket when they came for a story. Hmm. Day by day, the villagers grew more curious. Baby Olga received a mysterious new soft blanket and the butcher showed off a fancy woolen cap that covered his shiny bald head. The children were now squashed together on the very small story blanket. The confusion grew when the tailor's scraggly cat suddenly showed up wearing a grand snug cat coat purring away and there was no blanket left to sit on. The villagers asked the mayor to help them solve this mystery. You know what Baba Zara always says, the mayor replied. Every question has an answer. When the children saw the socks, the scarf, the mittens, the apron, the shawl, the cap, the baby blanket, and the cat coat, to all together, they shouted, it looks like Baba Zara's old story blanket. But she doesn't have it anymore, said Nikolai. <gasps> Aha, said the mayor. Baba Zara used the wool in her blanket to make these. Now it's our turn to give Baba Zara a surprise. So while Baba Zara slept, a few rows of wool were unraveled from every blanket in every household and left on Baba Zara's doorstep. Baba Zara was amazed when she opened her front door in the morning. She had never seen so much wool in so many colors. And on top of it, what all was a sign for your new story blanket. The next time the children went to Baba Zara's for a story, there was a colorful new blanket to sit on and a tale about a village where everyone shared with each other. As she hugged the children goodbye, Baba Zara noticed a hole in Alexandra's sweater. She wanted to knit Alexandra a surprise, but the snow was still on the hills and no wool was to be had anywhere in the village. Baba Zara knew that every question had an answer. She looked at her new story blanket and smiled. So boys and girls, this is a wonderful story about generosity. So what is generosity? Generosity is when you give good things to others freely and abundantly. That means you're giving, okay? You're giving something away. You're not, you're not 
sharing or there's no there's no cost to what you're giving. There's no reward for what you're giving. You're giving something away. And you're doing this freely. It's a choice that you're making. You want to give it because it feels good. It feels like it's the right thing for you to do. And you're giving abundantly. Okay, that means that you're you're giving wholeheartedly. You're giving with your whole your whole heart. Okay? And Baba Zara is definitely giving good things to others, things that people need and that they didn't ask for, but she she noticed that they need something. And so she's making them uh, something for them. And she's giving freely and abundantly. She uses up her whole story blanket so that she can take care of the villagers and their needs and what they, what they need to wear. And she's doing all of this, not expecting anything in return. She's not She's not even leaving a note. Nobody knew who, who was doing it. She didn't even tell them who, who she was doing it. She just did it. She just did it. So she's giving, she's giving good things freely and abundantly. And it, she's doing this because it makes her feel good. She likes taking care of the other villagers. Now the villagers decide to do the same. And so then they give back too. They give freely and abundantly. They choose to share their wool from their own objects in their home to give to Baba Zara so that she can make another story blanket. So even though there is some exchange going on, it's not, um, it's, it's still generosity because it's not really sharing. She didn't give the blanket and then somebody gave something back. That wasn't the arrangement. The arrangement was that she was gonna give openly, open-heartedly, wholeheartedly. Um, to others without expecting anything in return, not because she was told to do it, not because uh, it's the thing that you're supposed to do in a village, not because she wanted other people to like her more. She gave it just because she wanted to. She noticed someone needed something. She realized she had a blanket she could use, and she decided to give freely and abundantly. And then the villagers in return decided the same thing. So both sides were being generous to each other. Now, generosity, as the story shows, does not have to be big, expensive gifts or money. You can give so many things to other people. You can give your time. You can give your talents, as Baba Zara did, your skills, your ideas, your knowledge. You can give your space. You can give your presence and your attention, and you can give help. And sometimes it can be easy, just simple, like giving a smile just smiling at somebody and giving them that warmth and that joy that you have at seeing them makes them feel good inside. And generosity is a powerful, powerful thing. Uh, when a community is generous with each other, it makes that community much stronger. So I want you to practice making a generous gesture. Um, and I want you to see how it makes you feel. So choose somebody. Do something generous for them and then notice how does that make me feel and I'm pretty sure you're gonna feel awesome thank you